Okay, so we just talked about how to create that very cool 3D extruded text using New Blue Effects' Titler Pro. So what I want to do is just take things a little bit to the next level. So what I'm going to do is just navigate over to the new item drop down. We're just going to open up New Blue Titler Pro. We'll just create the title the same resolution as the project I'm currently working on. And let's just stylize this up a little bit. What I'm going to do is we're just going to type in new blue effects is all one word. What I'm going to do here is just expand the window out a little bit just so I can see things a little bit better. And let's take the size and bump it up to about 22. I think that's looking pretty good. And we're just going to position it roughly where we want. Now you'll remember we just talked about how in style we can come in and we can adjust the extrusion. I don't want to adjust it too much. I'm going to put it at maybe about five. I think that's looking pretty good. And what we're going to do now is we're actually going to come up and we're going to add a 3D outline to this text. Now as soon as I add the outline you'll see if I deselect the text you can actually see the red outline around the text. So what I actually want to do in this case is I'm going to want to thicken it up a little bit. So let's just do that. I'm just going to thicken it up just about like that. What I'm also going to want to do is just double check. I had this extrusion set to 5. Let's set this extrusion to be about 2.5. About half of that. What I want to do now is I just want to take this element just rotate it around like such and you'll see is the outline is actually behind the extruded text itself. And what we want to do is actually position it at the halfway point. So how do we actually go about doing that? Well you'll see in our 3D face our layer depth is actually set to zero. So what I'm going to do inside of here inside of the 3D outline is you'll see the layer depth is actually set to minus 51. Let's actually just set that to be zero. You'll see as soon as I do the text pops right up to the front and now what we're going to do is adjust that layer depth to be about the halfway point. Let's rotate this text back around and you can see I think what I'm going to do is just adjust this text so it's not completely white. It's just kind of an off-white. But you'll see now as I rotate around I now have that stroke and you can see it whether we're looking at the front of the text or the back of the text.